Hey everyone, Matt from Mythic Gaming, and I am very proud to welcome you to Seed Spotlight number 50. I don't know how we've gotten so far so quickly, but it's amazing, and I just want to thank you all for your support and, you know, your comments and everything you've done for me. It is absolutely amazing. I'm going to keep trying to do the best job I can to make the best videos for you and find the maps and seeds that nobody else does. So with that said, we're going to dive right into this one because I have been referring to this map as the... the king of surface features and i can't wait to show you why so let's go ahead and pull the map out and get moving right away you can see it's not a bad map there is no mushroom island that's probably the only downside to this map but once you see what's on here it's more than going to make up for that and there are four villages one of which i'm standing in because i'm always standing in a village see the other three are desert villages and we will make our way around there and along the way i will show you all the amazing things on this map so obviously these are the coordinates for this one and uh, I'm going to drop right into the blacksmith and show you what's in here. So if you don't want to see, I'll give you a little warning to look away. All right, I am opening the chest now to show you. All right, and now we will make our way right on over to the uh, the second village. By the way, there are a couple pumpkins over here in case you do make this village your home. So there is that. And then there's a couple cool houses in the water. I mean, it's not that uncommon that that happens, but still kind of cool. So let's get right over this nice chunk of jungle and start getting into the desert on the other side where we will hit village number two very shortly. There we go. Village number two is right here. This one does not have a blacksmith, but here are your coordinates so you can find your way over here. Again, it's another nice sizable village too. I mean, it doesn't have a blacksmith, but it does have a lot of houses, so that's always nice. I like my villages to be fuller, so the more houses, the better, at least in my book. All right, and next we will move on to village number three, which is going to be just across this little green part here that's in between the deserts. So here we are coming in nicely to village number three. This one is a bit smaller, but what this one does have going for it is it does have a blacksmith, which is always entertaining. So let's go ahead and drop down in there and see what he's got. Again, if you don't want to see, go ahead and look away, and I'm going to open the chest right now. Alright, now this village does have a, one of those surface features next to it, so let's get right on over to it and I'll show you what it is. We've come right over to these coordinates, right into this uh, little mountainside here. You're going to find a surface dungeon. I know, they're pretty awesome. This one only has one chest, but it's not a bad chest, so let me go ahead and drop in there and show you what's inside. Hey, not too terrible, not too terrible. But this map is going to get better, continuously better. So let's go ahead and get this last village out of the way here so we can move on to uh, the bigger, better things of this map. So shoot on over here. I do, uh, I think of all the villages, this one is my favorite. Your coordinates are right here. Because of its location, I, I really enjoy this village. Because then you take a look at it, it's a nice village. It does have a blacksmith, which we'll get to. But it's got these awesome mountains over here. So when you're down here in the village, you know, just kind of standing around, you know, it's pretty scenic. Especially in comparison to the other ones, I mean, I think I will have to say this one is easily my favorite on the map. But uh, before we move on, let me jump into the blacksmith so I can show you what's here and you guys can take a peek at the chest here. So here we go. Alright, and now for the two biggest, baddest features that help me turn this map into the king of surface features. Without further ado, let us continue moving in this direction and get on over there. You see, this one is, uh, the first one is not horribly far from the village. I mean, it's not close enough to where I'd say it was like, you know, part of it, you can't see the village or anything, but it's not bad. So you come over here, come right to these coordinates here. You're going to have to watch your step because there is a giant crater. And in the bottom of it, as you can see, there's a mine shaft just running through. And it's uh, pretty impressive how the mine shaft just barely made it into this crater. You can see it's just running across the top of a couple of these things. Like, look at this one. This one is just one block missing to show the wood. And you see, look, there you go, mine shaft. Boom. So yeah, that is uh, another amazing, amazing feature of this map. And uh, what's really awesome is this is the second time I've come across one of these mine shafts in a huge crater. But uh, I've never come across a map that had the mine shaft in a huge uh, crater as well as the other surface features that are on this map so pretty happy they could it could game could come together and you know give me all this awesome on one map so with that said let us get to the last and probably most epic awesome part of this map just because uh 
I think that way. I mean, you could disagree if you want, but to me, it's the best part. It always will be the best part of any map I do find. So here we go. Come right over to these coordinates. Watch your step. There is a giant hole in the ground right here. And the reason there's a giant hole in the ground is because there's a ravine. And as you can see, boom, there is the stronghold. Right at the bottom of this ravine. There's an awesome tree down here. Surface stronghold on the side. Little exploration to do. And again, just like the mine shaft, this stronghold barely made it into the surface ravine. So it's like the map tried its hardest to give me these surface features and just got them to poke through. And just to show that, you know, I didn't, you know, just make this. There you go. You are in the stronghold. It's no joke. It goes directly in. You've got all the exploring you could possibly want inside of this stronghold. So, yeah. Again, that is why this map to me is so far the king of surface features. You look at it, you've got four villages, you've got both one in the plains and the desert, you've got a surface dungeon, you've got a huge crater on the surface that has a mine shaft in it, you have a surface ravine that has a stronghold in it. I can't think of any other features you could possibly get on the surface that aren't here already. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this 50th seed spotlight. Again, I am very thankful for everything you've done for me all the likes the views the subscribes you guys are awesome and i'm going to keep trying my hardest to find the best maps for you and make the best videos i can so again thank you and i will definitely talk to you guys next time